How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Rimac Navero. It's a new electric hypercar that just set the speed record for the fastest production fully electric car out there in the world. Now specifically I'm going to be talking about the new Navera today uh, looking at an article by Motor Trend that kind of outlines the uh, setting of this new record and I'm also going to go on their website look at the specs of the actual car and I'm also going to compare it to another electric hypercar that I actually saw in person earlier uh, this year at the New York Auto Show. But before we get into today's video, definitely be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you've already been subscribed, click that little bell icon down there to turn on post notifications. All that stuff is absolutely free and really does help me out a ton as a smaller car channel here on YouTube. But anyways, here getting into the first article by Motor Trends. Uh, this is essentially talking about the speed record, it actually set it going 256 miles per hour, which obviously is not really that close to some of the internal combustion engine speed records that we've seen in recent years, whether it's the SSC Tuatara, the uh, Bugatti Chiron, like a couple of those things. But here we could see the Rimac Navera apparently has a quarter mile time of just over eight and a half seconds, which is just really mind blowing. Uh, that is going to be faster than the Tesla Model S Plaid, which is pretty crazy to think about because the Model S uh, Plaid is just a really wild car to be in. I've never been in it myself, uh, but it's definitely something I would like to experience in the near future. It also briefly talks about the top speed mode in the Remac Navera, and it says that it was fitted with street legal Michelin Cup 2R tires, which are also found in on a couple other cars that uh, did top speed runs. But here we could see uh, just like a brief summary of the overall like record. Uh, the guy came out of the corner doing like 150 accelerated all the way up to 256 miles per hour. Uh, this was actually measured by a race logic V box, uh, which apparently is a GPS uh, tracker. It's, so they didn't use like radar or anything, uh, but this was confirmed by a third party. It's not like Remac or, or Remac or however you pronounce their name, just kind of took their car out on a track and said that it, you know, just did something. So here we can see the actual list of all the uh, internal combustion engine hypercars that uh, this car is not quite as fast as as you get the uh, new Chiron, the Chiron Super Sport, the Koenigsegg Jesko, and again the SSC Tuatara, which I did kind of meant briefly mention. But that is pretty much it for this article from Motor Trend. They also have a few pictures of the car, which came out pretty awesome. But going on to their site and just looking at uh, some of the specs here. So apparently the thing is making 1914 brake horsepower, which is really mind blowing. Almost 2,400 Newton meters of torque, has a zero to 100 kilometer per hour, which is right around a zero to 60 in 1.97 seconds, which is really hard to believe. But again, this is claimed kind of just from their website. And actually if I switch it over to uh, miles per hour, so yeah, that's the zero to 60 time, apparently 1.85 seconds, which is just absolutely crazy. A quarter mile time of again, 8.6 six seconds they're saying on the website, but they were able to get it down to just over eight and a half seconds, a one, zero to 180 mile per hour time of 9.3 seconds. And then here they're claiming the top speed is 258. But again, with this record, it uh, only reached 256. So it's still obviously very, very fast. Uh, the, here's the battery capacity as well. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially it. This is kind of just their sales pitch kind of site for the model. Uh, they it seems to have like a crazy, crazy amount of technology. I mean, just looking at the drivetrain right there, me specifically growing up, I know I'm still young, but like still just growing up in an age kind of before all these wild EVs, it was a lot more simpler. <laughs> it's like, I mean, like looking at this, mechanically like there's really not a lot going on because it's not really mechanics at this point it's more electronics like it's just it i cannot wrap my head around it and i'm not going to sit here and uh kind of pretend to you guys like i know what i'm talking about when it comes to evs because some of this stuff is crazy but what it looks like to me is that they have two battery packs kind of down here maybe a 
big giant battery pack right here and then you got the uh, two electric motors powering both of the axles on on the car so it looks like the weight's going to be distributed pretty evenly i however do not know the curb weight of this car and that's the only thing that i kind of a question about this new electric hypercar because if you guys been subscribed to my channel i actually saw uh, this car in person at the New York Auto Show in April. It's the Deuce Vianney or Dues Vianney. I, I, again, I'm sorry for mispronouncing it. Uh, you can roast me down in the comments below. But yeah, I, I did a full like kind of walk around video of it. Uh, the gentlemen at the uh, like at their booth were extremely nice. They kind of helped me out. I talked to someone. I think I even talked to him throughout the video as well, but I'll leave that linked on top of the video right now if you guys wanna go check that out yourself. But it was a really, really good looking car and apparently it made over 2,200 horsepower. Again, this is all claimed, but looking at the Deuce Vianney, it, it's apparently two, uh, 2,200 horsepower and just around 1,500 foot-pounds of torque. So just converting the uh, Rimac Nevera's uh, torque, it says, again, it's at 2,360 Newton meters of torque, which comes out to just a little bit over 1,700 foot-pounds of torque. So it looks like the Nevera a uh, Rimac has a lot more bottom end, whereas the Deuce Vianney has a little bit more top end. So I'd really love to see a top speed one run with this uh, Deuce Vianney. And I, I honestly, again, I don't really know the curb weight of the two cars, and that is a huge, huge variable for when going for top speed runs, as well as the aerodynamic efficiency of them and how easily like they kind of cut through the wind. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I have no idea who would actually win because I haven't seen anywhere on the internet where the Deuce Fine uh, did a top speed run. If you guys have more information on that other electric hypercar, let me know down in the comments below. Also, be sure to voice your opinion on the Remac Nevera and its new top speed run that set the uh, record for the electric cars. But yeah, while you're down there, definitely sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, like I said before, uh, really does help me out a ton and it's absolutely free for you guys. But thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of today's video. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed today's video, click on either of these links right here to watch a similar video from this channel or click on the little circle link uh, right there to actually subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. I do appreciate all the support, but thank you for sticking to the end of this video and I hope you have a fantastic day.